Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Book Nice coming at you with a quick update. As usual, I have chopped up and condensed the footage from the last Hasbro Fan First Friday, just highlighting the things that need to be highlighted, splicing in the official images from Hasbro, and basically this is just a guidestone for us to discuss some of these things on tonight's podcast. So enjoy this, and then come hang with us on the podcast afterward. So let's just jump right in, right? There's been a lot of speculation on what we're going to reveal here. First up, brand new reveal is an item that no one's going to see coming. It's an item that has been atop the very list of uh, fan wish lists. And let's just jump right in and take a look at him here. So, of course, we're talking about more Fox Movie X-Men, the figure you all wanted. Forget about Colossus. Forget about Juggernaut. Original X-Men one suit. There's no way. What we're going to do is go back to Deadpool. So this is the burned version of Deadpool, his charge suit from that final battle in Deadpool 2. Here's a closer look. Dwight, why don't you tell them a little bit about this inspired deco choice for the figure? Uh, Deadpool from the very end of the film, when he got all all, uh, burnt and blown up, um, and it's kind of the, uh, we're just calling it the dusty version, so his color is a very muted uh, reddish tone, and uh, that kind of translates across the entirety of the figure. Uh, It's all been kind of dialed back a little bit. Um, still has all the blasters and um, swords that came with the two-pack uh, with Negasonic, but this is kind of just a single offering with kind of uh, that, you know, tease at the X-Force kind of coloring that they gave us at the end of the film. And so this figure will be available exclusively on Amazon. Next up is an item that we teased back at PulseCon in September. And it was the fallen version of Silver Surfer with the Mjolnir, part of that King Thanos storyline. So we'll take a look at uh, Silver Surfer again here. And as we spoke to last time, this item will be a Walgreens exclusive in the U.S. and uh, at EB Games up north for our friends in Canada. So we have another shot of Silver Surfer, both with the Mjolnir. He also comes with two... Uh, cool energy effects and then here is a look at the final in package version of silver surfer coming to you early spring 2021 and i actually if you can see it i have the new king thanos head on the old thanos body behind me here battling uh silver surfer on a hasbro pulse uh, legends flight stand so something you guys all need to to add for your shelves in there so we're going to sneak peek the next Uh, cosmic-themed character. This is a a very important character. He's got a nice update here. Let's take a look at him now. This is going to be a classic Nova with that, I believe it's that same Silver Centurion-style shoulder pads um, and some extra pieces which aren't shown here yet, but here's your look at the core figure. Definitely needed an update for your shelf. So he's got a new torso um, connection to the arms with the shoulder pads, so they rotate out of the way really, really nicely. An all new uh, helmet um, with uh, multiple pieces. The I think the last time we did it, it was all kind of handled in deco. Um, now the star is a separate piece, the helmet is a separate piece, and the face is a separate piece. So there's lots of clean transitions between the painted areas on the figure, uh, and it just it looks fantastic, and it keeps nice, beautiful, uh, sharp edges on that star. I think the last one kind of looked like a starfish that's been washed up on the beach for uh, a week or two too long so uh, this you know really really uh harkens to that look from the comics um it's a beautiful small little detail and uh he's also going to come with some uh extra bits and pieces and some unique uh surprises uh that will reveal i believe at a later date i know ryan likes to tease those things out for you guys yeah, we like to we like to leave the trail of breadcrumbs and do do things a little piecemeal. But uh, so so Nova will be available at Walgreens in the U.S. Also, EB Games in Canada. He is going to follow um, the first uh, figure there, uh, Silver Surfer. So Nova will be coming in kind of later spring time frame, twenty twenty one. The next big wave here. This is, of course, going to be our X-Men wave for 2021. Uh, This is Dan's, one of Dan's favorite, I know, and and all of us. So this is, of course, the House of X-themed wave here. You already know you'll be able to recreate this iconic shot of the five main heroes in the wave, plus Moira and uh, Omega Sendo, which were revealed. But we are very happy to show you the Build-A-Figure for the very first time here. Um, 
on the stream. Uh, so Dwight, take him through the Tri Sentinel. Yeah, this was a really creepy looking um, Sentinel. And this, I think, this wraps up our year of the Sentinel. Um, more Sentinels created this year than probably ever in uh, Marvel Legends. With what we had, Nimrod. We have Omega Sentinel. We have the big uh, uh, House of X. Uh, Haslab Sentinel, and now we have the Tri Sentinel. Oh, we also had Bastion and the uh, Omega Prime. So there's, yeah, there was a lot. Um, but Tri Sentinel is awesome. He stands about eight inches tall. Um, he's got three independent necks and heads. Um, he's really spindly and creepy. Uh, it's just a cool, weird design, and it's really odd with that kind of purpley pink, pink hues to him. Um, but it really works well with the contrasting uh, silver and, and dark gray metallic. Uh, I think he looks off, fun, creepy character, and he'll look awesome next to the rest of the this wave to give you something that I don't think many of you saw coming. Because uh, you know, looking up his boards, there was lots of discussion as to what the build a figure might be. So, um, and a few of you got it, but uh, I, I think uh, for. A lot they you guys were looking in different directions so it's fun to do something fun and different for you guys so hope you enjoy it uh, as much as we enjoyed making it i love the speculation of uh, apocalypse in a suit using the joe fix it body or the kingpin body so that i guess could have been cool but you know how about an all new sculpt instead for the tri sentinel hopefully you guys dig that so let's let's go through the rest of the wave again just to show the final uh gucci shots as dan uh, calls them, and uh, I'll take a look at the final impact offering. So first up, we have Moira here with two looks. She'll first come in her uh, lab coat with uh, a set of glasses there. Note the clear glasses this time, uh, <laughs> unlike Peter Parker. She'll also come with those alternate arms um, and an alternate head as well for a more, you know, she's that's her, that's her work look, and then uh, her kind of casual look secondarily. So... We can, anything you want to say about uh, Moira Dwight, this first-time Legends character? Well, it's awesome to get to add her to the line, and we know you guys like civilian characters, so that's why we kind of went with the multiple looks for this one, because we knew it would give you a fantastic base body for you guys to have some fun with it on your own. You know, there's more uh, awesome civilians coming for you guys to mix and match and do whatever you guys can imagine. All right, and the next, next up, let's take a look at uh, Charles Xavier here. We revealed the standard look uh, with his helmeted head back at PulseCon. So we have a shot of him with that helmet on, which you know, pointing very, very authoritatively. But also a new piece to reveal today is an alternate head, Dwight. What? We, I don't think we've ever done a telepathic like ring effect like this. It's pretty cool. Not rings. We had a telepathic uh, blob um, that came with the hover chair uh, a while ago. But this is a little bit uh, cleaner, more sleek, um, you know, a different take on it uh, for the telepathic look. He's got his eyes closed, uh, and he's thinking, thunk, think hard on whatever it is that Charles likes to think about. Is this the first figure we've done with the eyes closed? I think it is the first one we've done with the eyes closed. Um, typically, nap time action figures aren't... Uh, you know, uh, big draws, but you know, nap time, Charles, man, put them at the top of your list. Something fun and different and new. So after <laughs> professor X, we'll, we'll have his, uh, front of me here, Magneto. Um, as we saw him back at PulseCon in this white look to him. And he comes with, you know, all different kinds of sets of hands for your varying Magneto pose needs. He's got fists, he's got the spell hands, uh, and more. And uh, here's a look at him in pack. How are we, guys, how are we feeling about this uh, white version? Do we prefer the white, the black, the purple, and red? All right, next up after Magneto, we have Wolverine with my favorite set of claws, the fat claws. So this Wolverine actually comes with an alternate head, which is new, I believe. And uh, it's some, it's one that Dwight can relate to. It's uh, a bearded, o uh, older but still uh, still awesome version. Okay, next up we have we have Cyclops. Uh, also comes with some extra pieces um, in addition to his stoic profile. There, he will come with that angry optic blast that we've seen. 
once before, I believe, on the um, the retro carded version, but um, updated for this figure. So you get Cyclops here. Let's take a look at him in pack. Great. Super fun. Love when we can include some, some blast effects and powers. And then next up we have Marvel Girl, which is a really exciting figure. Uh, the team did an old Marvel Girl and Cable two-pack, I want to say, um, way back in the early days. But this is a, a brand new look at her. She comes with a new accessory, too, which I'll let Dwight talk to. So you can gift it to, you know, Scott or Logan and say, here's something for your mantle, boys. You know, it's nice. It's the Krakoan flower, which if you guys have read the story, you know it's a very important piece uh, of this whole arc between the Krakoan portals and the flowers, which are used for different types of medical reasons. So there's a lot of um, just kind of uh, history that they're creating today to wrap around Krakoa. And it was kind of fun just to put some... It's just always cool to add accessories to the characters and little environmental uh, tchotchkes that you can use. So um, it looks, it, it works well with her. Like I said, you can add them to your shelf. Um, she looks great. She's a, a huge improvement. I know some of you guys were saying she has no torso articulation. Um, she doesn't have the traditional articulation, but she does have a um, articulation joint that we've used on multiple other figures in the past, like Kang and our theatrical Doctor Strange's. She has kind of that inverted rocker that is hidden under her belt. So she still rotates and kind of rocks left and right at her belt. So it leaves a perfectly intact torso, but she'll still get uh, some different types of movement uh, out of the action figure. So it's not what you see all the time. All right, so let's wrap it up. The last figure, Omega Sentinel. She is a really cool figure. Um, comes with multiple arms and multiple heads, as you'll see. So the standard look here comes with some blasters. Dwight Walker, walk them through the, the two versions that you get in pack. Yeah, you get the clean uh, kind of uh, feminine robot arms, and they have a single elbow because it allows us to rip them off at the elbow and replace them with those two massive cannons you guys just saw. Uh, and we also did a, 90 inspired, a 90s inspired head. Um, with all of that, a magnificent hair. That is that is probably one of the uh, best, most voluminous hair sculpts we've done on a figure to date. Um, but it looks great, and it's inspired by the 90s era of this character. So a, a fun alternate to the, um, to the looks of her from her bald, modern look uh, from the books of this year. So that completes the wave. Um, we are happy to, to close out the year with uh, a pre-order for this entire wave later today, at, starting at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys know the drill. They start around 1 p.m. All right. We do have one more uh, item to discuss that will be up for pre-order later today. Um, we put it at, as a tease in our, at the very end of our last live stream. Uh, most people immediately knew who it is, uh, got psyched for it. Um, there were some questions over which version would it be. But, of course, we've got a classic uh, MODOK deluxe figure by himself. He is such a unique shape and so awesome that uh, he would not fit in a window box because the dimensions, he, he's too... He's too thick and deep all around so this is a look at the packaging it is a closed box but with gorgeous you know artwork um behind him there i believe it was uh from the same team that brought us the um deluxe thanos so this is a look at the back of the pack he stands close to eight and a half inches tall there while sitting upon his blast effect so let's take a closer look at the different versions dwight walk him through the first the, the two out of pack picks we have here Sure, sure. Um, first, we have uh, Modoc here uh, on the blast effect with kind of a angry face. Um, it has an alternate uh, mouth and teeth that uh, has a removable um, chunk to his head. You can basically grab his cheeks, rip off his face, and replace it with uh, a more stoic, uh, calm version. Uh, he's got a control rod on his bottom uh, left that moves around, so you can kind of put his hand around his driving stick and... He rotates, but he, he gets a little bit of rocking on that stand, but not much. Like uh, Ryan said, he's thick, and uh, that makes him want to topple over, so we couldn't give him 
too much rocking, but it's a really cool figure. Uh, it, here, I got him over here. So uh, for those of you who are wondering what this guy looks like and what he looks like next to somebody else, here is his buddy, Mr. Scientist Supreme, chilling out with uh, Mr. Modoc. So, you know, they're two besties you know, battling for power in their AIM organization. But that gives you an idea for the scale of this character. Dwight, can you show him to, you know, take the face off? I can, yeah. So you got uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Egg here, and you just grab his cheeks, and it pops his face out. So it's just got a, a cavity and a big uh, key. Uh, I don't have the uh, alternate head here, but then it just kind of slaps in, pops down, push down the hair, and uh, there you go. An awesome new character in a really cool uh, closed box, something different for us. Um, but it's really beautiful to celebrate the uh, packaging team's hard work on the front and really getting get credit for these beautiful, beautiful pieces of uh, plastic art. And it looks awesome in pack, and it's going to look amazing on your shelves when you guys get to add it to your collections in the very near future. Because it's the season, uh, we wanted to leave you guys with three gifts of our own, which are three teases for the future, for the new year. And so I'm going to give the first gift to all of you guys right now. So the first tease for 2021, we can confirm that Cannonball will come with his legs. All right, we're not going to show you, we're not going to tell you now exactly how or where or when. But in 2021, we can guarantee you now, it's in the books, it's in the systems, that Cannonball will show up with legs. Will it be legs? Will it be legs alone, Dan? Or just the figure? Or are we, are we letting, leaving that to... Uh... It's the legs. It's going to be just the legs. So the next the next tease is, is mine. I'll take it. So I think we're all familiar with the uh, comic series Tales to Astonish from back in the day. I wanted to play a pun on this. So, from Tales to Astonish to A Tale to Astonish, T-A-I-L. In 2021, there will be a new, completely new sculpt figure with a tail. So, let the speculation run rampant. Uh, let's click over and show you guys what is going to be coming your way in the next year. Boom! Bam! Classic Ultron. You guys have been looking for this figure for 20 years, and you're finally going to get it. I finally broke down and said, yeah, let's make him. So he is 100% from scratch, all new. He's got a cool Kirby crackle power effect in his mouth, and that's removable. So you can, uh, you can have him kind of hold it in his hand like he's clenching, kind of like powering up a charge to blast out of his palms. Or you can kind of have it, as it's seen there, just kind of floating in his mouth like his, you know, he's about to blast you with his mouth. But um, classic Ultron, um, for the first time ever in Marvel Legends 6-inch line. What do you guys think? Happy? Is that a nice, is that a nice Christmas, uh, Hanukkah, holiday gift for everybody? Enjoy. Headlock, dead clock, music make your head knock Bump it to this billy while I milli rock on headblock Music so good, get it knotted up in your dreadlock